Hey boys and girls, this is Tom. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. And it seems that my predictions about China have gone way faster than even I anticipated. Somebody might think that I went back in time and stole the 1950 almanac about the scores like they did in Back to the Future 2. That's not the case. I just made a one plus one analytical assumption and I knew this about China. However, I didn't know it's going to go like crazy like this right now. My name is Tom Nash and I quit my corporate job as a senior financial analyst to break down companies for you. If there's one thing you need to know about me, I don't take bullshit from anybody. Hey, boys and girls, this is Tom, and we have a lot of news to cover today. Bitcoin is going through the roof. Amazon is actually agreeing to accept Bitcoin potentially as payment. The China crisis is getting worse. More bans, more regulation, more companies feeling the heat. Also, we have some news out of the video game industry. Like I said a few weeks ago, the video game industry is just heating up. I think it's going to be massive. A lot to talk about in this video, but let's start with China. Now, I made a video speaking about the dangers and the volatility about investing in China. Certain people thought that I was just talking about China as a country or China as a culture or China's people. No, I have no issue with China. I love China. I love the Chinese people. I love the food. I love the culture. What I don't like is the risk. I don't like paying for something that's sitting in an environment that has a lot of either political, banking, regulatory, whatever volatility, especially when you don't even own the stock. I own a company in the Virgin Islands that might own another company that might own another company that owns a Hong Kong company that holds a Chinese company that holds the actual assets, intellectual property and know-how of the company I think I'm investing in. Not a good look for me. That's why I said in my video, I'm not going to be subjecting myself and my money to the random sporadic decision of some bureaucrat deciding to bring down the whole history of industries because he doesn't feel like it, which is exactly what's going on in China. Let me show you. Look at this. DD falls on report of potential unprecedented penalty in China. Chinese regulators are considering some serious penalties for the ride sharing firm after its IPO, according to Bloomberg report. Regulators in China are considering a fine possible suspension of certain operations and or a forced delisting or withdrawal of DD's US shares. When I said this in my video and I told you there's actual risk of delisting, people saying, well, Tom, you're going crazy. They're never going to delist these companies. It don't make no sense from a financial standpoint. Why would they cut off the branch they're sitting on? Well, here you go, mother lover. They just did. And this wasn't even the first or the last thing they did this week. Check this out. China confirms official ban for profits cool tutoring companies. So all of these companies, TAL, New Oriental, all of them are going to take a hike out of China. Look at this. China orders Tencent Music, one of the biggest companies in the world, to give up its exclusive music licensing rights. Look at this. China tightens rules for payment firms like Ant. They're about to end Ant Group and WeChat. Basically, China is going on a rampage. And let me tell you, as a Russian, I'm never going to put my money where it's completely dependent on the decisions of certain communist bureaucrats. I've seen this movie before. It doesn't end well. Now let's move on to some positive news. Bitcoin is actually rampaging, but in a good way. Bitcoin surge squeezes the shorts. Crypto heads to $40,000. Yes, if you're impatient, here you go. It's like Warren Buffett said. The stock market is a way for riches to get transferred from the patient to the patient. And here you go. All the Bitcoin bulls are now saying, told you so. You don't know where I've been. We've seen worse. We didn't sell off. And all the paper hands are now saying, well, should have listened to the guys who knew what the hell they were talking about. So check this out. Sentiment on Bitcoin turned bullish over the weekend as the world's most popular cryptocurrency topped its 50-day moving average. The positive momentum sent Bitcoin up 12.5% to almost $40,000. If anything, that's as good as a Tesla level stamp of approval. When Amazon says, well, Tesla doesn't accept Bitcoin for the meanwhile, I'll accept it. That's good enough for Bitcoin, at least in the short term. This is some really good news if you're bullish on Bitcoin. Now check this out. Video game sales in Q2 pull off a surprising 2% gain against tough pandemic comparison. Check it out. Consumer spending on video games in the second quarter eat out a 2% gain against a very tough pandemic comps. What they mean here is that we had such high numbers during the pandemic, this was expected to go down. But instead, this model lever keeps going up. I told you, this is one of the next big industries. People are laughing at me. Data shows that the overall spending globally has hit $14 billion for the April-June quarter. That's just for one quarter, $14 billion. 
And that's just the start. We're not even talking about how huge esports are becoming slowly. It's becoming a mainstream industry, broadcasting rights, a lot of money. I think it's gaming and all of these other categories, which I mentioned, the cloud, the AI, all of this data, cybersecurity. But I think gaming is right there. Don't write it off because it sounds childish. It's a great business to be in. As always, a huge shout out to the channel members and the patrons. Thank you so much for the support. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's quick video.